Team View. Best way to manage workload and resources in Monday. With Team View, you can view your team's workload in both tasks and time estimates. Maximize resource utilization by identifying who has less tasks. Team View has no board limits and it also supports sub-items. Team View also offers a custom item view with added features. Let's see how Team View works and its features. Let's see how to install Team View. First, visit Team View website and click Add to Monday button. With two clicks, you can easily install Team View to your account. Now let's add Team View widget to your dashboard. By clicking on the Add widget button, you can add Team View to your dashboard. It just only takes few seconds. Same way you can add Team View to any of your boards as well. Let's first configure your boards for Team View by clicking on the Configure Boards button. In the left panel, you can see all the boards which has at least one status column and one people column. You can select any number of boards from multiple workspaces and there is no board limit. Team View also supports sub-items, and they are shown as a separate board for simplicity. In the right panel, you can configure options for each selected board. First you can select your status column, and its done colors. Then you can select an assignee column, and select whether you need to calculate time estimates, and due dates. Under the advanced options, you can select how many items you need to load from each board. This helps to prevent rate limitations on large boards. You can also exclude some colors for your item view status timeline. Finally you can select this board for team view by clicking on the checkbox. You can then repeat these same steps for all the required boards. You only need to perform this configuration step one time. You can export all the board options to a template file, and later you can easily import this file from other widgets. Finally you can finish the board configuration by clicking on the save button. TeamView is the perfect place for resource and workload management, making it easy to see what people are working on now, as well as in the future. Each card in TeamView represents a person in your workplace. You also see a card for tasks that are unassigned. In each person's card, you'll see their assigned task load within the boards you have selected. Tasks are grouped by status, to give you a better vision of the state of the work, for each team member. To manage resources and redelegate tasks, all you need to do is drag and drop them from one card to another. There are two ways you can measure workload for people in your workplace. The first is by number of tasks. Here tasks progress is based on tasks in done statuses versus those in active statuses. Next, you can measure workload with time estimates in hours. In each person's card, you'll see that the progress is based on the time estimates for tasks in done statuses versus those in active statuses. You can choose to show tasks without estimates, to show which tasks people still need to add time estimates. The workload chart will help you see who's overloaded, and who's ready to take on more tasks. Under widget settings, you can define a custom threshold for your workload map with time estimates and number of tasks. This helps you to see how tasks are delegated between different people and allow you to redelegate them more effectively to maximize resource utilization. For example, we can see that this user is probably ready for more work. Because he's completed everything he is assigned. Whereas this user is assigned quite a few tasks and has a ways to go, so we might want to hold off on giving her more work. We can easily drag and drop an unassigned task to any person and maximize the workload utilization. Each card has an option to collapse and expand all groups at once. By hovering over an item, you can view each item's board name and group info. Click on any item to open the Advanced Item View dialog. Here you can see the timeline of the status column and identify if there are any bottlenecks in any stage. You can also update the task name, certain column values, and post new updates from this dialog without ever leaving the page. By default the cards will be sorted by number of tasks. But don't miss out on your other sorting options shown here. You can also choose to sort by number of incomplete tasks, time estimates or even person name. To filter what you see in team view, simply click on the funnel icon. You can filter data by multiple filter conditions, such as assignees, statuses, due dates, time estimates and even task creation and update dates. You can combine these filter conditions with either AND OR or clauses. 
You can also easily find items by their name through this search box. Lastly don't forget to check out other widget settings. Here you can configure different item options to show full name, board info and due dates. Also you can choose how many items you need to view per a page. So why are you waiting? Visit dreamteam.website slash teamview to get started.